Welcome to Look Local. I'm Karen Adams. This is the place where we feature the best and the brightest of where we live, showcasing local businesses in both North Florida and South Georgia. We do that by reminding you if you're looking for something to do or for someone to help, it is always better to look local. This week, St. John's Country Day School. The headmaster will be here to tell us why it's an exceptional alternative to public school, offering a premium education to grades K through 12. Island doctors with so many local offices will explore what they do and how they do it, plus tell you about some upcoming events that you won't want to miss. Plus, 904thin.com, helping you to lose weight and get healthy at the same time. The headmaster for St. John's Country Day School joins us. Todd Zayner is here with me to discuss the school, what it has to offer. Welcome, Todd, to Thank Look you. Local. Great Glad to have to you. Here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about St. John's Country Day School and what would you like parents to know? Yeah, sure. St. John's is an um, independent college preparatory school. We serve nearly 60, 650 students. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, I would say that uh, since our founding in 1953, We've been a leader in Northeast Florida in providing our students not only preparation for college, but for life. Excellent. We love that. And we have some pictures of the school we want to show you. Um, it was out there yesterday. It's a beautiful, beautiful campus. You. And you yourself went there, I understand. I am an alumnus, so I'm very proud. And uh, it reminds me every day of the opportunity and the responsibility we have um, for our students. Mm -hmm. It really helps shape the student's character as well. A lot of it's a character education. What are we looking at here, Todd? We've got a photo here of our Performing Arts Center, mm -hmm. uh, one of only a few in Clay County, which gives our students from age three to grade 12 the opportunity to, to be on stage and perform and, and build self-confidence. Excellent. We can see the next one as well there. Um, besides having a fantastic art program, you also have um, just a great academic program at the school, and it's known for such as well. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I remember my mom saying, the school is only as good as the teacher teaching the class, but you have some fantastic <laughs> teachers over yes, there. Yes, no question about it. And as well as your music. Yeah, we have a photo here, our, our band, uh, a band class. We offer a pretty diverse arts opportunity in terms of performing arts, from drama to dance to chorus, to band. Mm -hmm. We have a photo here of uh, a, a one of our visual art classes, uh, upperclassman, probably a 10th grader. Um, I think one of the other unique aspects of the school here is that uh, our students from age three get the opportunity to participate and all of these extracurricular activities are part of their curriculum. Mm -hmm. What I like about the school also is that since it's K through 12, your, your student doesn't have to leave the school. So That's pretty great. much you can be on the same campus with the lower school and the upper school and the middle school as well. So there's not a lot of change going on in their lives once they you know, develop their friendships and they become adaptable to the curriculum That's and right. their environment and surroundings. We're very unique to have um, the entire student body on one campus. I love that. And, uh, it, 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 creates a family atmosphere and uh, one that uh, is enjoyed. And one that has a lot of people wanting to come back year yes. after year. <laughs> now tell us where you guys are located. We're located uh, on one campus uh, just north of Doctors Lake in Orange Park. Uh, from that location we have the opportunity to serve families from Mandarin to Ortega and Avondale and Fleming Island to the south. And in addition we, we provide a bus service for our, our students and what gives us the opportunity to um, have students that come from 30 different zip codes in Northeast Florida. Wow, a lot. So there are some families that do cross the Buckman Bridge then to yes. go over and into Orange Park. But the yes. good news about that is you're going in the opposite flow of traffic, right. right? So That's you're right. not going to have a lot of traffic in the morning. Which is I live on the opposite side, and so absolutely, I experience it every day. And uh, we like to say we're only 15 minutes away from... Uh, a lot of places in Jacksonville. Talk to me about what is unique about your curriculum in general. Well, we might need to add another section. We have so many unique <laughs> aspects to, uh, to the school. But um, I think when I talk about St. John's um, in the community, I have to start with the people. Okay. Uh, I'm so fortunate as the headmaster to, to lead a well-educated, caring group of uh, faculty and staff that have dedicated their lives to serving our students. And as a result, we have uh, a very loyal group of families that uh, together come together and create a, uh, a family atmosphere, which gives the students the self-confidence to uh, be become adults. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. What type of uh, sports do you offer at the school? I'm sure everything. Right. We have a wide range. Uh, one of the nice pieces, again, having um, one campus with all of our students, is that we offer 13 different opportunities, athletic opportunities, from grade 6 through grade 12. We have middle school, junior varsity, and varsity um, sports um, for all skill levels. As well as a swimming pool, an yes. Olympic swimming pool at the school that is also part of just the everyday, um, I would guess, uh, curriculum as well sometimes. The pool is a unique aspect to uh, being in Clay County. We're the only school that has a pool on campus and we incorporate it in lower school um, PE classes. Right. We incorporate it in our summer programs. We have a after school swim program and we also have a varsity swim team which utilizes the pool. So that pool's been utilized for many years. <laughs> uh, you look like you have a fantastic track. Um, this North well. Field, uh, we, we have our, all of our athletic fields, baseball field, softball field, soccer, uh, football field, and track facility, um, all lit, which gives our students the opportunity to uh, practice many hours I love after that. school every day. That's great. Let's talk, um, we only have a couple minutes left, sure. but I want to get into the, the, the summer programs that you have, if anybody's interested sure. in that as well. Tell us a little bit about that. We have summer camp, which uh, w offers a wide range of activities in addition to a day camp. Uh, runs for 10 weeks throughout the summer, and you can find out information on our webpage. Mm -hmm. And um, it, w for ages age 7, Right. Um, all the way up through grade 8. And that is really good too because a lot of parents still have to work during the summer yes. so it gives them you know a place where their children yes. can go and still get enrichment um, opportunities. And then if anybody's watching that would like to you know consider mm -hmm. going to your school for next year sure. or that you know is inquiring about it you also offer an um, opportunity for anybody to come get free tours of the campus yes. and also your student can can come and actually can go try out the school and see how it fits because oftentimes it's just a fit between between the student and the school, wouldn't That's you say? That's right. I think, you know, you, you can find the information about our school online okay. um, at sjcds.net, but there's nothing like coming to experience our community in person. Right. And so not only to come take a tour, but, you know, the students will come and take a visit for an entire day and uh, truly get immersed into the community and feel what it's like to be a part of our St. John's community. Love it. All right. Todd Zaynar, the headmaster of St. John's Country Day School. Give him a call. Check him out on the web. We appreciate you coming in today. Thanks for having me here today. You bet. Up next, Island Doctors. With so many of their offices popping up in North Florida, we're going to see what sets them apart, as well as take a look at some of their upcoming events. Plus, if you've ever wanted to be part of the Price is Right, well, now is your chance. The Price of Right Tour 2017 is coming to Jacksonville, and you can be part of it when it comes to town. It will be live on stage at the Times Union Center of the Performing Arts. For more information, log on to fscjartistseries.org.